Let's decorate for spring as the season is upon us. Well, friends, the weather is changing and it is March 1st when you are seeing this. So happy March and happy spring cleaning and decorating. So today I am going to take you around my home and decorate a little bit for spring. And it is sunny and cloudy and sunny and cloudy, so the lighting does keep going in and out. But I got out my tote of decor laid it all out and my husband had the kiddos for like a couple hours so I was able to just go around do a little cleaning take down some of my winter decor and add some spring touches to my home this is one of my favorite times of year when the weather starts to change and it's been unusually warm in South Dakota so it's already turned and been beautiful outside and so I'm just enjoying adding some florals some um, color just some tulips and these are my favorite tulip faux stems from Amazon so I will link them in the description box along with some of the baby's breath I got so everything needs a good dusting and then just putting different decor pieces that I have on different spaces and vignettes that I have a lot of the pieces you will have seen from past years from thrift hauls that I've done before and nothing I bought for this video is or nothing I got is bought for this video it's just what I had on hand you also may see a pink little ribbon hanging down um, while I'm dusting this accordion rack and decorating my basket with some tulips because that is a Valentine's Day balloon that my girls got and I did not realize it was hanging there while I was decorating and so you just get real life sometimes while I add some beauty to my home. In order to make these tulips stand up a little bit higher I just put some plastic bags in the bottom of the basket because it was too deep for the stems but no one is the wiser other than myself and you guys now of course but you just got to do what you got to do to make things look beautiful in your home right I used a lot of eucalyptus for my winter decor and so it's time to remove some of that and wipe things down again like I said and add my white tulips I am debating on adding a little more color in my tulips, but I do love that white, the cream, just those really neutral colors. And I didn't add any pillows yet in this video. And so later on this season, I'll add some different pillows to my home, which ha might have some color. But right now I'm really just liking the simplicity of the white. Now I'm moving over to my built-in shelf. And if you missed it, I did a winter living room refresh where I shared this peel and stick wallpaper I got and added some nice paint around the built-in and in the cabinet area, just freshened it up. But anyways, I thought I would add this $1 thrifted colored piece that I have of the landscape. I left everything else the same and then this white pitcher with some tulips. And of course, I have to bend the tulips to make them fit in there. But like I said, you just make it work with the space you got and you just add some touches of beauty to your home, especially per each season. It's wonderful to do that. Now I am going to share a lemon bar recipe. It's actually gluten-free, so it takes almond flour and coconut flour. I am not gluten-free, however, I just found this recipe and thought I'd give it a shot, and I liked it enough that I am sharing it with you. So it takes some almond flour and coconut flour for the crust and some salt, and then you pour in the melted butter or coconut oil, I believe, and I used coconut oil in there this time course because it has coconut flour so why not use coconut um, oil then some maple syrup to sweeten the crust and press it into an 8x8 eight eight pan that is lined with parchment paper So while the crust is baking in the oven, you mix together your lemon filling and it takes three eggs and one egg yolk. 
you sweeten it again with maple syrup, which I am all for. I really try to avoid refined sugar, sometimes even cane sugar. So this recipe was up my alley with having the maple syrup as the sweetener. And then you squeeze in some lemons and I just use my hands so I can catch the seeds. And I did not have quite enough lemon, but I did have grapefruit on hand. So what better way than making a citrus bar than using the the fruit and the citrus you have on hand. I do have to say it could have been a little bit more lemony and I think that's because I substituted grapefruit, but that was okay. Then you put in a little coconut flour to thicken it. And I do have to say I probably should have just used an electric mixer because it did end up with a little bit of egg white um, in a few spots around the bar after it was baked. And then you grate in some beautiful lemon zest, Pour the batter into the hot crust and bake it again. And it was a beautiful bar. And honestly, I saved some in the freezer and they are really good to snack on frozen. After it's done and it's cooled a little bit, I'm just dusting it with some powdered sugar. And I thought the bar was just delicious. So giving it a try and taking a little bite and enjoying my bar. Let's move on to a little bit more decorating. This is my front entry, front porch area, a very small space, and I keep it pretty simple. So really all I'm going to do here is remove my husband's slippers because the snow is, well, it's just not quite as cold. So I'm gonna remove those out. Dust my chair and dust a little bit more on the trim and dust the crock that's there. And then I actually just decided to move some of the eucalyptus I took out of the living space off that green stand and move them into this crock and rebend the stems. That's the beautiful part about faux flowers is you can adjust them to fit whatever piece you have. If you need to cut them, you could. I just bend them because you can't see that. So I'm gonna adjust the eucalyptus to fit in this space. And I may add some tulips later on, but for now, just a little greenery is wonderful. All right, to my coffee table and the kiddos were back so I had my oldest help me move some things off the coffee table and guess what I missed some socks so you're seeing real life like I said um, I added just some baby's breath to this picture re put in a fresh candle because I still got to have candles the time has not changed yet and so I need that candlelight when the evening settle in to getting dark although I do love that it's staying lighter a little bit longer and the time change is coming soon but I just like having little spaces to decorate for each season. And this is a, another thrifted picture, picture that I am adding, taking down my favorite winter scene. But I hope you enjoyed coming along and decorating my home a little bit for the new season. <music>